Hello everybody, my name is Ron and I am the leadership pastor here at White Kingdom Ministries and I wanted just to take two minutes and bend your ear and share a word with you. The word that I have that God has placed on my heart right this minute is about being a shepherd. You know, a shepherd, if you do a Spanish translation of the word shepherd, it literally translates into pastor. Anybody who's a father or a mother, you have a flock that you shepherd over, your children. As you become a business owner, your flock gets larger of people. They're not actually your blood, but these are your flock that you shepherd over. And in 1 Peter, Peter's talking about shepherding God's flock among you, not overseeing out of compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not out of greed for money, but eagerly. Check that out. He says, as God would have you, you're not being a shepherd over greed or money, but you're doing it willingly, not lording over those, you know, Mr. Micromanager, Mr. Hey, I'm all high and mighty, come bow before me, not lording over those entrusted in you, but being examples to the flock. It's self-reflection right now and see what example am I leaving for our flock? You know, Jesus himself said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. I think about King David. When he was a little boy, his task was to be a shepherd for the sheep and his flock. And this flock is under constant threat of a wolf, a lion, a bear. And he just has a little slingshot with a rock. He's spinning around in circles and try to hit one of these animals and kill them. I mean, that may not be laying down your life for the flock, but it certainly is risking your life and potentially laying down your life of being a good shepherd. But here at the ranch, we have chickens and there's hawks killing them every day. There's raccoons coming to kill them every day. Everyone loves chicken and to be a protector of the chicken, it's tough and it's really tough to make life and death decisions about who lives and who dies here on the ranch. It's really been kind of getting after me, but God's telling me, you are the shepherd. You are to protect your flock. And not just in the natural correlation of us protecting the chickens from the raccoons and the hawks, but the supernatural correlation of being a business owner and having a big flock that's working with us and protecting that flock. In John 2, Jesus himself, if you look in the Bible, the words written in red is Jesus himself speaking. He says in John 10, verse 12, The hired hand runs away when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him and he isn't their shepherd. So the wolf attacks them and scatters the flock. But check this out in verse 13. This is something that I really wanted to share with you. The hired hand runs away because he's only working for the money and he doesn't really care about the sheep. That's what it says in verse 13. The hired hand runs away because he's only working for the money and he doesn't really care about the sheep. Today, my friends, I want to challenge you as we're setting up a business. We're in the Christmas light installation business setting up 2022. But regardless of what business you're in or if you're just the shepherd of your family or whatever flock, if you're a pastor of a church and you have your flock, let's remember that it has nothing to do with money or doesn't have any kind of fame and fortune that has nothing to do with it. It's following the example that Christ left us. And what's the difference between a shepherd and a good shepherd? Men, let's strive to be a good shepherd and have a great season. My name is Ron with White Kingdom Ministries. Get busy!